These are some modern Ford automobiles in Lego form. In this video, we're gonna build the original Ford automobile, the Model T, out of my own bricks. I've got a list of all the pieces I need here, an empty bucket I'll fill with bricks, and a ton of bricks here. Well, I found the majority of the pieces. I had to order about 50 of them that I didn't have, and they're on their way, so we'll continue this when I get them. Pieces acquired. Gotta have the nice sound of pouring Lego. This is the front build of the Model T. This is gonna be a really interesting car. I love how creative fan builds are. Got the front hood all finished. It's interesting, I have the wrong chassis piece, but so far so good. If you see how it kind of jots out in two ways, the one in the instructions is completely filled here in the middle. Hey, did you know that there's wood in this car? Well, I mean, it's plastic because it's Lego, but the original Model T had wood in it. So these pieces must represent wood planks. Guess who just broke a Lego piece? Gotta figure this out now. Don't worry, we're not in too much trouble. It was supposed to be a part of these door pieces that don't move and it still fits in fine. Halfway point in the build. It's certainly a unique one and I'm excited to see how it comes together. Very cool interior seat colors. This step just came out of nowhere and it got a whole lot longer. It's much bigger than I expected. Guess who made a mistake and had the car sticking out on each side because I didn't order the right pieces. It turned out to be a trunk. In here we have the finished product. It's a lot larger than I believed it would be. It's cool that it has a moving front wheel up here and the back wheel is stagnant. But my only downside is maybe it's a part of the real car is the holes here on either side of the car, which is a little bit of a letdown. But the interior details are very cool. It's got some nice colored seating and the wood like I mentioned earlier in the video. It even has a trunk. Doesn't open very far, but it works. How does it stack up against modern day Ford though? Well, let's do some size comparisons. As you see, the Ford GT is actually longer than the car, but if we're gonna talk height, the Model T towers over the Ford GT, which is expected. There's quite the ground clearance on this puppy. And it is eight studs wide, we're not counting the wheels that stick out on the sides, which would make it probably about 10 studs wide. I wouldn't say it's in the same field as the Lego Speed Champions, but it definitely fits alongside those themes. And it's gonna become a staple on the channel. Wanna see me build some newer cars? Check out this video right here.